Hey guys, welcome to another Thursday edition of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick. Uh, this week I'm going to talk about uh, a really cool uh, Beatles album that I picked up from Walmart of all places. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click on the link down below and go check out the, uh, the Vinyl Den Facebook group. Um, just a cool place to hang out and uh, kind of continue the, the music conversation. Also, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give it the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you click on the uh, notification bell so you're getting notifications every time we release a new episode. So I feel like I need to kind of preface this conversation with the fact that, of course, you should always support your brick-and-mortar local record stores. They are the backbone of the vinyl industry. But, you know, I'm always on the lookout for a good deal. Um you know, kind of wherever that, that, that deal is, um, you know, growing up here in the, in Southeastern Michigan, you know, it was natural to buy music at, you know, places like Kmart, Meyer, Best Buy, Media Play when those stores were around. Um, heck, I even think like the, my local Sears in Ann Arbor here had like a small music section. Uh, so you kind of bought music wherever it was, but, uh, I know times have changed and we moved, moved on to a different place, you know, with kind of like the, the, the revival of vinyl records since really about 2008. Um, you know, you've seen a lot of these smaller brick and mortar stores kind of have a resurgence. So, uh, you know, supporting those are always going to be a priority. And obviously, you know, I buy a vast majority of my records from my local record store, d and Music. Absolutely great shop. So I've been a pretty big Beatles fan since it's probably my, I'd say early teen years, like 10, 11, 12. Um, I don't think my parents really got into the Beatles when I was younger, but, uh, or at least they didn't listen to them a whole lot. So it was probably, like I said, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, somewhere around that, uh, those ages when I first really started getting into the Beatles and the white album was one of the first albums I, I, I picked up when I, I, I want to say it was like 90, I was a teen, probably 95, 96. There was a really cool like flea market in my local area where you obviously vinyl records were not popular around those years. And there was a flea market that I could go, that I went to where a guy had just a ton of really great used albums. And you could pick them up for like two bucks. Uh, so that was actually the first time I bought a copy of the White Album. And um, I think I bought the White Album and uh, Hey Jude at the same time. But really ever since then, I've loved this album. And uh, when I got back into buying albums a couple of years ago or several years back now, um, you know, the the White Album was one of the first ones I, I bought. I bought, I think it was the 2012 Remastered. Found, sounds fantastic, but uh, when I saw that they were doing a, or that they did a 4LP box set of it, I was uh, I was pretty excited. I wanted, I was really interested in picking it up. I know that it had some demo stuff on there, but, um, you know, for one reason or another, the, the, the price always kind of put me off. And, because I want to say it ran between, depending on the store you went to, around 100 to 120 bucks, And for an album that I already really had, you know, it just wasn't, uh, it was maybe a little bit higher than I, than I was willing to pay for it at the time. So a few weeks back, um, I believe it was Jeff on the, the Vinyl Den Facebook group. I believe he actually works at Walmart and saw that uh, the Walmart vendor was putting out some of these. This is the four LP box set, and he was really shocked at the price on it because, like I said, this thing runs for a hundred dollars plus, and they had it listed at Walmart for fifty bucks. Now, if you go on Walmart's website and look, I want to say this thing is listed for like seventy-five or eighty bucks on the website, which is still a really good deal. Um, but knowing that there were stores. They were selling this thing for 50 bucks. I don't know if it was like a, a regional thing or if they were doing it nationally. Uh, so I kind of went out and started, I guess, not really searching Walmarts. But whenever I would pass one, I'd stop and, and see what they had. So last Sunday, I was out at the record store with Ian. And on our way back, um, I just happened to drive by Walmart. And I was like, hey, I'm going to stop here real quick and see if they have this, this Beatles album. So we go back in, and they've, the the one the the Walmart I went to actually had a pretty decent uh, sized 
collection there with uh you know the shelves were pretty pretty much full i you know because i've gone to some of the walmarts and they've got what it is like uh two or three bays of records but they're only like half full this one was actually pretty pretty well stocked so they must have restocked some stuff uh within the last day or two but um i i was really surprised that they actually had just one copy. So <laughs> Ian was a little disappointed because I grabbed it before he could. But uh, see, so yeah, I'm going to kind of go through this this pretty sweet box set. So one of the first things I noticed is actually a pretty sturdy box. I know some of these uh, like super deluxe boxes can get uh, kind of flimsy. But uh, I love the picture on the front too. Because, you know, the, the white album is just obviously just white. So this is, I like how they get the, uh, the pictures of the Beatles on the front. Um, let's see, open this thing up. The, um, so if you bought like the big super deluxe version of this, the, the CD version, I believe it came with like a 160 or 165 page hardcover book. Uh, one of the first things that you see in here, this is kind of a, just a little four page. I think this is just like a little excerpt or excerpts from that book, um, you know, written by a couple of different people. There's a one from Paul McCartney in here, uh, another from uh, Kevin Hollett, which I believe he's uh, like a Beatles author. I know he's written a bunch of books about the Beatles. And I believe he actually also did the uh, liner notes for all the remastered albums that have come out. Um, so, yeah, just kind of a cool little, little picture on the front. Cool little flyer thing. I guess I think that's really the only thing in here other than the albums. So you got the double LP white album. I don't know if I took these out and put these in sleeves yet or not, but yeah, they come in uh, polyline sleeves. So I'll probably just leave them in those. But uh, yeah, I think it's just the standard. I believe this is probably the, I think this is the 2012 remastered. I would assume so, but really the thing that drew me to this was the last two LPs. I can get them out. I'm kind of stuck in there. Oh, there's a there's a poster in here also. So let me put, open this up. Poster and then um, all the lyrics. Which I'm not a big poster fan, but I know there's a lot of people out there that are. Cool poster, just a bunch of pictures of the Beatles. Um, I know there's one guy in the Facebook group that uh, likes to frame a lot of his posters. So this is the, I believe this is the called the the Escher demos. This is what really kind of drew me to this. It's almost like an all acoustic version of a lot of the songs that are on the White Album. And this thing sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, kind of a similar presentation to the white album just to have pictures of the beatles inside but um like i said that's just like it, it's cool to hear these earlier versions of the of these songs and i believe i don't remember what song it was but on the i think it's the third or fourth side of the the demos album there's a song i was listening to it i it, the song sounded really familiar musically though lyrics obviously were not but uh it, it really didn't take me long to realize that it's this, the music for uh, Jealous Guy by John Lennon, which was on uh, John Lennon's, uh, one of his solo albums, which is one of my favorite uh, John Lennon songs. So it's kind of funny to hear the Beatles singing it with uh, different lyrics. But uh, like I said, if, this is a, if you're a Beatles fan, a White Album fan, uh, this is definitely a great package to pick up, especially if you can get it at a smoking deal, you know, 50 bucks at, at Walmart. Well, that's all I got for you this week, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Uh, make sure you come back and check out the show with me and Ian this Sunday. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button down below. Drop a comment and let me know if you guys have picked this up or if you're planning on picking it up or if you're on the hunt for this deal. Because like I said, it's a really great one. It's a really great one to pick up. Even if you're a casual Beatles fan, it's a great one to have. Uh, especially since the, those, those demos are just absolutely fantastic like i said it's an almost all acoustic or it is all acoustic uh version of the white album pretty much in, in its early stages but uh that's all i got until next time guys keep on spinning peace <laughs>